Okay, what's up, people? Welcome to Eritrea Center, and this is weekend edition. So, as I said earlier, we are working on this Honda Civic 2015 about timing. Actually, the car has a problem at the timing. Maybe someone has worked on it for something like that, but we want to diagnose it and verify what caused the problem and set this timing properly because this is one of the complicated signs. So, we just sit down and relax and watch it. But if today is your first time of scrolling into this channel, Please consider to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated because we upload weekly videos so that you can able to get access to watch our videos. We also use it to work and get value from it. So this is Eric Potter Center and this is on the account 54 series and this is this time our BBTC program. So we are going to work on it and reset this time in properly for you to get a next time. Actually, the car has a Google about uh, Crank sensor, but it's not the crank sensor because of the wrong timing. This is why it's giving that uh, stock. So, we are going to work on it and get the positive result. So this is the home of timing and it's change time. Sit down, relax, and watch the video. But let me give you the specification. This is the edge beam. So, actually, here is the inner side, other side, and this side is the inner side. So, we have BVTI and the BVTC here. This is what we call the intuitor and the modern calculator, VVTS, uh, VVTI, but it's VVTC. So we are going to do it and open the front cover. So first thing you have to do is to remove the back cover and uh, remove the front cover. You have to switch to automator, then the crank pulley, you have to move it, remove the thumb belt, and this thing will be removed out. Also, this, you have to remove the engine mounting so that you get enough space to do this work. And after that, you can remove it and set the timing, but don't forget to use the timing chain alignment correctly because a little mistake will give enough space to the inlet valve and it will cause a lot of problems, whether engine misfiring or like malfunction. This is what will happen. Sometimes you might feel like engine jetting and all those things that are like not correct sound. This thing will experience when the timing is not good. It can start all right, but the system will not work properly for the control system. So these are the fully electronic engines. So watch this timing. But let me see your comments, like the video, and share to many people to get benefit. We are mechanical assemblers, and this is the home of auto tips and tricks. And this timing will enable you to get full access to do it. And this is the home of auto. So. Can we subscribe again and uh, hit the bell icon to stay a bit for more quality video content. I welcome you to Eric Auto Center once again and this is the home of auto. If you want to look at us, if you want to interact with us, the description will put in the video description and all the links and our contact. So you can also get access to call us, message us and email us for your assistant or even it's a conversation or phone conversation like consultation everything will be put on the video description so once again i thank you and sit down and work for wasting your time but you have to give you a better description for the video so that you can able to do it thank you okay guys it's change time and today we are going to do a candid review about K2 series timing chain alignment, the procedure and how to do it to get a correct start. But uh, don't forget, this is one of the complicated timing ever. So just follow the video, the ultimate guide to do it and get a correct start. A little mistake will give you a wrong timing and it can easily bend the inlet and exhaust valves, which will cause a big problem. So just look at the timing marks well and do it to get a correct start you cannot get all the procedure 100% but for what i have done so far will allow you to get the ultimate car and do it yourself to get a correct start without any problem so you are welcome to eric country center and uh, for the first time please consider subscribe my channel and like this video don't forget to put your comment below in the comment section so that we know how you can able to assist you to get your work done. Thanks and let's get into the timing. So we have exhaust camshaft and we have inlet camshaft which is uh, here we have VVT 
timing sprocket and also here you have also with the timing so these are the main thing for you to get a correct start but this is the main key anytime if you want to set this time make sure you get the timing max correct and there is an timing chain alignment here which will enable you to know where you can able to position the counter so we are going to count it there we see this is the mark and you can see the two yellowish keys here which will indicate you to put the first mark here that's the exhaust side coming to the inlet side you can also see the deep mark here which will also refer to these keys here that will be the correct start for you so we are going to count it from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is the timing chain alignment so with this procedure it will be very easier for you to get it done and with no stress it can also allow you to do it as soon as possible so we are going to take you to the down to also know where you can able to put your down mark so this is the down marks and let me remove this so at this level this is the key inside there there is a deep mark there so you quickly align this mark first and uh, here you have to turn it to this to this mark what you indicate give you the best timing as you can see there this is how you can able to set the, the down mark which is tdc mark don't forget to use the arrow keys and for any mistake it will also cause you a lot of problem so these are the main procedure you have to use it before you do that you have to lock your i mean uh, the chain guide adjuster first and uh, as soon as you finish you have to insert it to get it so just look at it where and see the procedure how you can able to set your k24 series timing chain alignment this is the same procedure for honda civic 2016 2015 and the honda accord 2015 2016 so it's the best tutorial and this video is going worldwide so consider subscribe to every quarter center and click the notification bell to stay updated whenever we upload such um, uh, informative and useful videos for you to get access to do it and able to i mean complete your work down so this is where we are going to end in a, i think uh, this is the best video for you ever and uh, it will go all over the world so share the video and like more to i mean uh, get the work done thanks for watching and we we'll meet you in the meantime